Thanks for tuning in to Red Belt Radio. The following episode is scheduled for one fall. I'm Jason, and this show is dedicated to World Wonder Ring Stardom. Today I'm covering the top five Mina Shirakawa matches to make in stardom before she eventually leaves the company. There is no guarantee just yet regarding when Mina Shirakawa will make her exit from stardom, but the signs pointing to a Mina Shirakawa departure are growing in number. Mina has not been involved in any storylines involving current stardom wrestlers as she is very much attached to matters involving both both Mariah May and Tony Storm of AEW. Mina has been frequently traveling to the United States and the UK to make appearances, and at the time of this recording, she is the Rev Pro Undisputed British Women's Champion. Conversely, Mina has shown no signs of challenging for a stardom belt and did not even compete in this year's five-star Grand Prix. Before the co-leader of EXV says goodbye, there are five matches I hope we get to see from her, which I think will be meaningful to the fans of stardom and to her fellow wrestlers. If you find these transmissions valuable, please give this a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. In order from least important to most important, number five, Mina Shirakawa vs. Starlight Kid. This may seem like a strange choice at first, but hear me out. This match presents an ideal opportunity for Starlight Kid to showcase her status as the head of Neo Genesis against another faction leader in stardom. Starlight Kid teamed up with Mina Shirakawa on both May 25th and May 26th of this year, and even gave Mina a run for her money when it came to performing Mina's signature entrance dance. Both wrestlers are known for their dancing and crucially both are known for their wrestling strategy. When it comes to attacking their opponent's legs and working towards a submission finish, almost no one stands out more than Starlight Kid and Mina Shirakawa. In this sense, you have a wrestler who can test SLK on multiple fronts, and a match that can be dramatic if it tests Starlight Kid as a leader, comedic if it tests Starlight Kid as a dancer, and technical if it tests Starlight Kid as a submission artist. This is a battle that can raise Starlight Kid's stock, even if Mina Shirakawa claims the victory. Number 4. Mina Shirakawa vs. Xena These two have been allies since Xena made her stardom debut in the Cinderella Tournament of 2023. A match and final farewell between Mina Shirakawa and Xena has the potential to be highly emotional, and Mina is one of the only remaining wrestlers on the roster who has yet to endure Xena's devastating slaps. We've already seen Xena just about at her best when wrestling those closest to her. Simply observe her performance against Micah in the main event of the conversion on June 22nd. And just like my number 5 pick, I think Xena's stock can go up even in a loss to Mina Shirakawa. Number 3. Mina Shirakawa vs. Tam Nakano this is a tough one to discuss since the result of last year's Flashing Champions main event between Tam Nakano and Mina left some fans very upset. Regardless, this could make for a compelling red belt challenge provided Tam Nakano is still champion moving forward. Mina has sworn to Tam that she will one day bring her down. And while it wouldn't make sense for her to succeed just before leaving stardom, I can see this match bringing her closer than ever. A draw of some kind would make for the most intriguing result as it suggests the two being equally matched now and teases at a definitive conclusion sometime later when Mina can either focus on stardom full time again or meet Tam at a big crossover event. Number 2. Mina Shirakawa vs. Micah 
This match seems like an obvious one to make. If Mina is going to leave the faction that she created with Micah, it shouldn't happen without a chance for the two to have some closure. These two fought to a time limit draw in the 2023 Five Star Grand Prix, and a follow-up match between them could be extremely dramatic and extremely back and forth. Mina has to know for sure that the faction will be in capable hands while she's gone. And Micah has to demonstrate to her subordinates that they can continue to trust in her, even if she will have to lead them on her own. Number 1. Mina Shirakawa vs. Natsupoi The battles between Natsupoi and Mina have felt very intense and very personal. In some ways, Natsupoi stole Mina's position in Cosmic Angels from her, becoming Tam Nakano's favored ally while Mina felt more and more out of place over time. In other ways, Natsupoi is still seeking retribution for Mina's abandonment of Cosmic Angels and for her own failed attempt to challenge Mina for the White Belt. Now that Natsupoi is the one holding the White Belt, at least at the time of this recording, I think there's the chance for a very heightened match between the two. Mina's reign with the Wonder of Stardom Championship was the shortest in that championship's history. At the same time, her only successful defense was against Natsupoi. A part of Mina absolutely wants another chance to hold the belt even if it's only for a moment. And like the champions before her, Natsupoi is soulfully committed to protecting the title, no matter what it takes. Of all the matches on this list, this is the one that I think only makes sense specifically if Mina loses. For Mina, this would be a tragic result, but for Natsupoi, it would be an ascension. A title match victory over a former white belt champion. A chance for both wrestlers to forgive each other. What match choices did I overlook and which of the ones from my list do you think makes the most sense for Mina to be a part of? Let's enjoy Mina Shirakawa's remaining time in the company regardless of how long or short it ends up being. If you found this transmission valuable, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, or leave a comment to let me know what you think. Thanks for listening to Red Belt Radio.